Oh, you still got it then, boy? Yeah. <laughs> I still got it. Good morning, all. It is Saturday, and I'm going to go and try a new car boot out today. But I'm very late to the party, but I don't really care this morning. Not too fussed. It's a new one in... Again, I can't remember the area, but I'll let you know when I get there. Starts at half seven. It's now currently seven o'clock, takes me half an hour to get there. So I'm gonna be the back of the cube person. Come to get the GoPro out of the garage. Fill it up, stick it on the shoulder, and I'll see you in the field. After an absolute ball ache trying to find this place, we're here. It looks okay, nothing spectacular. I've got a couple of friends here, so I'm gonna go find them and moan about how much I couldn't find it. So Pat, if you're watching, I'm coming over to moan at you. Okay, it's not looking too shabby. Looks all right. Goes back a bit. I, bit. I am quite late to the party, so all the gold's gonna be gone. All the gold, all the silver. But let's dig in, let's see what we can find. Hey, how are you? How much are the hats, mate? Couple of quid each, mate. Couple of quid each, yeah? How much, sorry? Five. All works. Local instructions. I've got a little leather jacket. Lovely job. Thank you, mate. Appreciate it. I couldn't find this place. I was fuming. I couldn't find it, I've texted you, obviously, my phone, you, uh, you don't have Yeah, on. no, I don't have it on, look at this. Nice, nice, nice. You got all vintage Pokemon cards as well? They're all 1999 and oh. Pokemon, uh, uh, sorry, um, Pogs. <laughs> oh, Pogs member then. <laughs> oh, I'll have, to, I'll have to find you. Yeah, yeah, we ain't got time for him, we ain't got time for Pat. How's things, man, you all right? Yeah, you good, you good, good, good? Yeah, mate. Of course like, he has. I'd like to come back a few rows again. You do? Yeah. It makes sense. What, Lucy? What, mate? How are you? I'm right. I couldn't find this place. I got lost. So did we. So we did. We went too far. How much is that one? How much is that? Ten of each, yeah. Yeah, we got lost. Went into Reading. Yeah, same. I've never, I've never been here before. I've been here once before, but before the trees had grown. Oh, no idea. And it used to have a blue fence, but mm. you can see it from the trees. Oh dear. Let me go find some bargains. I'll catch up with you. Two pounds. I don't think it's ever been used. I'll give it a bash for that. Yeah. If ever I knew right, that's just an old finishing costume. Oh yeah. How much is this one? Oh, 50p. Yeah, I'll take it for that one. Oh, let me get another one. Idea, I'll give it a bash, that's for sure. Yeah. Thank Especially you so much, I appreciate that. How much is your stuff in here, mate? Yeah, these. Oh, mate. I've never seen it. Does it run the same? Let me look it up. Yeah. It runs the same, doesn't it? So you've got just track in there. What, do you house clearance? Yeah. Are you, do you come here a lot? Uh, do you mean, what I mean is, do you, just, do you sell out Do you sell out a lot, I mean? Do you sell stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. As, as and when I get it, yeah. I mean, and it's a little bit of bonus, isn't it? Yeah. Appreciate that. See what else you got. What is that? In fact, where box? am I? Do you want the plastic box? Do you know what? I will, I will get back to the car, actually. I'm in no rush. Yeah, yeah. Um, what I'll do is I'll... Let me look here. 
It's lovely. You can take the box on, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, have you got a change for a 20? Oh, sorry. Uh, just, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. sit back. Yeah. I'm tempted on the chair. Isn't it? You do a little bit of selling online, do you? Yeah, I'm nice. Mate, it's manual. I've never seen this before. I'm going to give it a bash. See how it goes. I think you're onto a nice little mark. Oh, well, yeah. you got... Well, when you, you sort through all the bits... That's, and... the, that's the thing. Look at the absolute swagger on him. Carrying carpets, boy. Hey, eh? think you're well hard, don't you? <laughs> that was heavier than it looked, that thing. That was heavier than it looked, that thing, carrying that back. <laughs> yeah, thank you, man. Doing all right. Oh, what, mate? <laughs> Didn't even see you. Hey, I got a new job for you. <laughs> Stick you up a chimney, boy. I tried. Yeah, I've been fine. Thank you. How was this one? Okay, lovely. Thank you. I'm sure it's worth it, just rich, rich for me. Oh look, there's Ian. Japanese. Japanese. Yeah, Japanese, yeah. How, how much is the keyboard? I want a tenner for it. Oh, it is yours? Oh, it is yours? I paid 39 quid on eBay. I mean, I bet you was raging, weren't you? That's why I put, um, there's a little line on that in up here. So you know that which one does what? Yeah, that was your, your Yeah. App. What that? I want 25. Pain in the it's arse, that is. It is, I'll guarantee it. Yeah, yeah thanks anyway, mate. I'd, I'd have brought it for the, um, <laughs> what's it called? Yeah, yeah. I don't like anybody ten pounds worth, mate. <laughs> oh, you still got it, then, boy? <laughs> you still got it? Okay, no. of course you still got it. What oh, a sausage! <laughs> Except for the board. How much is your switch? 200. 200. It's too rich for me, I'm poor. No, 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 you're right. Lol. How much is your stick, mate? Which is that? Ten pounds, that one. Oh, that's all those. Uh, two quid. You can have that for. Yeah. That'll do. Yeah. yeah perfect. Here you go, mate. Yeah, lovely. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Who's got caught in the morning? Thank you. Look at this. Look at this lovely array of I, stuff. I can't get it all out. <laughs> look at the look, this is what you want in it, a car boot sale. And then you get to there, I won't show you that bit. Three, four, five, <laughs> uh, five, six, seven. Well I'm not sold, Pat. I have heard people saying it's a bit of a crap crap one though today though. Yeah. yeah, I filled bags up there, didn't I? Six. Oh, nice, yeah. You might have to get a double case to put them in. Someone's obviously... I'll figure it. Thank you, mate. That's right, mate. <laughs> so wait, wait for that. You are, yes. What about the plate? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, so I've got loads of cars. So I need to go through it all. Oh, there's some like, house clearance guy there. Yeah. 
So if, I, if, if it wasn't for him, yeah, you'd be like us. I'd have, I'd have, I'd have, I'd have burnt the whole. I'd have walked down here petrol. <laughs> got to the very end, and just big as well. Though, I'd have gone, Pat. You got a light. You'd have gone, Nah, none of them work, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm going to get some chips, actually. Yeah. See you in a minute. Do you want anything from up there? No, I'm not Nothing? Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, lost. Someone's paying. How much is this one, mate? Fifteen. Fifteen. Would you take a tenner on it? No. No, you stick it at 15, yeah? <laughs> yeah, no worries, mate. That's yeah. right. Thank you anyway, I appreciate it. That's all right, no problem. See that tiny little bit of white thing? Yeah. You pull that out and that starts the back there. That's a waistcoat. How much are these? 40. How much, sorry? 40. 40? Yeah, they was 160. So it's a bag and a half. Take your word. Right. I'll take your word for yeah, it. Well, look up on the internet. I believe you. Yeah. I just can't believe people pay that much. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to the channel. It's going to be a very quick one today going through the hall because I didn't pick up too much, but I did get some pretty cool stuff. Well, I think it's cool. There's a lot to go through and a lot of sorting out to be done, but I do believe I can actually get quite a nice bit of money out of it. So I've just got some work to do with it, which is frustrating, but. You know me, I will crack on straight away and get it done, which means I'll put it back in the box, put it under the cupboards somewhere, forget about it. So, should we spin you around and have a little look? No? Yeah, let's do that. Hello! Right, so, what we have here. Jesus, I don't, know, I don't even know where to start. These are Tomy AFX racing track they're like scale electrics but they're a little bit different by the looks of it it's a lot more rarer some of these prices and stuff is ridiculous in here it's full of track they're both just full of track but i do have a bag here which has all of the controllers the barriers the bridges all of that sort of stuff it's all there it's all in there but this has just been filled with track so hopefully the track's worth some money on its own. But there's all of these cars. Now these cars are where the money's at. There's some good money here. These are from a, um, these are from, um, I think it's called TCR Ideal. They're from a different set. I'm going to bundle all that together and just do a job lot auction on that. But these cars here, some of these, they're not in the best condition ever. Let me just turn you around. As I was saying, they're not in the best condition ever, but I'll get the dust off and I'll get most of them off. They're in okay condition. This one's missing its uh, spoiler. But some of these are going for like 75 quid each, 100 quid each, 60 quid, 20 quid. I'll try and put a few screenshots up. Shops? I'll try and put a few screenshots up of the ones that I actually found. And you can have a little look yourself. Uh, this is from a 1977... Uh, ideal track spare body on it there so that's a body only some of these screenshots that i'll put up you need to need to look carefully because some of it's only for the body only um which is ridiculous i believe this is my most expensive one i believe that with the body and i've also as an added bonus i've got some original boxes so i'm going to pop them in the boxes as well look at that smashing is there a date on this one? Uh, there will be, I'm sure. I believe they're 80s. Anyway, I think they're fantastic. I paid £10 for it all. All of that, 10 quid. 10 quid the lot. This is in its box. It's not new. I believe there's a sticker missing off the front. I believe it's had a sticker peeled off by the look of that. Well, it might not have done. But it's got his original box. Toys R Us, $4.99. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
but I'm happy to buy that. Uh, it just means I've got a lot of work to do. But what I probably will do is go through the cars. I'll job lock them just so that just just to get rid of them. Because like there's wheels missing, there's motors that are falling out. <sighs> and, uh, if I end up having a look and it turns out that they're actually worth a hell of a lot more, singularly, then I will um, I will of course split them out. But these I'm going to split out separately as much as I can. Potentially, in fact, actually, there's a car. That's the car. Look, there's there's that car, and there's that car. So if it's all in there, I could sell the set. I believe that one's selling for about sixty odd quid complete. I'm not too sure about that one. I reckon there's about four hundred pounds of stuff here for ten quid. That's how much I think I'm going to get out of it. Four hundred quid. Let's let, let me just go on the other uh, the low side. Let me say fifty one fifty two fifty two fifty. Let's say three hundred. Say fifty quid for the pair, which is very very low. Let's say three hundred. Hopefully that goes for maybe a hundred quid for the lot, four hundred, and that's and you can tell by my prices they're reserved. That's a reserved price. So, oh, I have to keep tuned for that one. It's just one of those jobs that I just don't want to mess with. Is that bag any good? And Lanzarote. Just one of them jobs that you know I just I just never want to get around to doing. But I will. I've changed my attitude. I'm working now. I'm actually doing some work. All right, next up, we picked up this, and I'm going to hold it. Gary, I have got a tripod thing. Um, can't even show you. Whoop, there's the leg of it. That's weird, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, while I'm actually on the subject of Gary, Gary's bought another bundle off me. I've got two big boxes going out to him. Um, annoyingly, they're not going to ship them until Tuesday because of the bank holiday, but it is what it is. Gary, me and Gary have done oh, thousands of pounds of business now together. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Top bloke. Right, and... Um, George, thank you very much for buying the t-shirt. George Ross brought the Stefan Janoski t-shirt. So thank you, mate. That should be there by now, actually. Right. The rest of the pickups are very quite quick and quite easy, so I'm going to hold the camera is what I was trying to say. So I picked up this. My first pickup was a TalkSport Pure Radio. Paid £5 for that. Should be getting around £19.99 all in. It should be a quick seller. Picked up this Sony Walkman simply because it was in the box. It is scratched to pieces, but... Oh, it's got the disc, it's got everything in there. But it's got the box and stuff, and it was 50p. 50 old pence. It's dented to hell. I've broken, because I've had enough. I'm going to get copy written now, because that's such a beautiful voice. £2 for a Logitech C920. £2. It's brand new. It's brand spanking new. And some Canterbury sheepskin schleppers for four quid. Now, apparently, the bloke I brought them off, he's next door to Pat and Paul. So he's, um, he walked off and said, can you look after this door for us? They were like, yeah, no worries. I don't think they looked at it once. But when he came back, somebody told us that he'd uh, spent four years in Broadmoor. And I was winding him up. But that's what I picked up today. So, oh, also, thank you very much, Simon, for coming over and saying hello. Bumped into you today. You're from... Swindon area, I think. You said you recently subscribed to my channel. Appreciate you coming over. Hope you found some bargains to be fair. You got there late, but you seem to have done okay. So that's the Mighty Hall. Nothing spectacular. Nothing's going to change my life, but it is only Saturday. I still have Sunday and Monday to do. I went and got £80 worth of change yesterday. Pat took £10 worth of change off me, the toss bag, but he needed it. I didn't at the time, so that's fine. Um, so I'm going to... Scooch all of that back into a box, put all of that into a bag, put that underneath the cupboard, forget about it. Probably this, the Pure and the Logitech. I might keep the Logitech actually before we do the waffle. Oh no. <laughs> uh, and I'll list the Sony if it's worth it and them slippers. The rest of it, I'm just going to forget about. I am going to do a car boot, so I've got all this bundle here um, that I offered to a friend of mine, but he's unable to accept bundles at the moment because he's moving house. Um, and I offered it him dirt cheap, but he can't take it. So now I'm thinking I might just do a car boot sale because I could probably make triple what I could have gave him, even the car boot prices. So I'm going to do that. When? Who knows? So recap, £10, £5, 50p, £2. What have I actually spent? 4 9 10 11 50 
Twenty-two fifty. Oh, and I spent like four quid on chips and a drink. <laughs> right, jump cut. I was in my car and I realised I've got another bag full of stuff. But there isn't too much. I've got a Gable walking stick. I think I paid £2 for that. I would guess 15 20 back. They sell quite quickly as well. And Pat gave me some now tapes for free. Thank you, Pat. I appreciate that. I'm going to start trying to collect the... I'm going to start trying to get the whole collection. Sorry. I forgot they was in there. Back to the video. Well, we're here with another jump cut. And I've had to do it because I've just been... Basically, it's the same day. My stuff's all still here. And it's been about an hour since the last filming bit. But I went to get my hair cut. And there's a charity shop right next door. So I popped in there. And we picked up something else. So I'm going to show you. I need to get the floor for this. Because the, 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 the table's full. First things first. You've seen these before. Crossword solver. I picked this up the other day for a pound. Uh, the screen was knackered. Hopefully this one's good. But basically, she let me have that and this for 30 quid. Now this is a Sanyo Music Centre. Pop it open. These are actually the speakers. They are detachable. You can detach them. But it's got an 8-track. Oh, that's not going to fit up there. That's annoying. Okay, cool, the speakers are off. Yeah, look, they're, they're detached, which is quite cool. They've been looking on eBay, Sanyo recently sold for 110, slightly different model. Um, but it's got an eight track, it's got a cassette, and it's got a single, I don't know what inch that is. But, I paid 30 pound for it. And I'm hoping, obviously, to get a bit more than that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on Marketplace for 100 quid and try and get it gone that way because it is quite heavy. I would, I will, I will ship it, especially now after seeing um, Stace's video. I appreciate that, Stace. Some good information there, boy, about Shipley. But yeah, I just thought I'd show you really because it's another pickup adds to the day. And it's quite a cool little thing, isn't it? It all folds up into this little suitcase. So, um, yeah, I'll be letting that go cheap enough. I don't, I'm not going to try and get every last penny of that. I just want to move it on. But they've tested it with batteries only because it hasn't got the power lead because it's got a specialist power lead. I might even have one. In fact, annoyingly, I did have one. But it is what it is. So, uh, 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 back to the original video. That's it. That's the lot. So you'll have a sun Saturday and a Sunday and a Monday again this week. All right. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. No idea what the GoPro footage is like. I've only been in 20 minutes and it's probably about half 11 on a Saturday. So adios, amigos.